For this video, we will focus on the do's and don'ts for isolation and how to make correct handmade fans to keep them wide with the Yegi Mega Lashes. First thing we're going to do again is we're going to go ahead and use the cleanser and cleanse her eyelashes even though they look clean. Because the cleaner the eyelashes, the longer the extensions are going to last and of course the happier your clients and we're going to be. Again, reminder, make sure if you are using a brush like this, you are cleaning and sanitizing between each client unless they have their own and they take it and bring it with them. And if you're a lash tech, it's a good idea to also have some of these cleansers on hand. We do sell them in bulk so you can kind of resell them and make extra money. Um, now we're going to dry the eyelashes with a little portable fan. It's the easiest for eyelash extensions and we're going to prime them. So the primer is not the same thing as a cleanser. The primer basically gets all the little extra oils and everything out to prep the eyelashes for the eyelash extensions glue okay so it bonds the best when you prime it and that's what it's formulated for now in this video that is our old bottle we do have new packaging um and we will link that below and it's even a better stronger formula now for your convenience again dry after the primer Now we're gonna use the under eye patches. So I want you to see for this video, we place the under eye patches under the under eyelashes. So we're not holding the eyelashes down with the under eye patches and this is a different technique you can do. Um, and the reason why we did this is so it doesn't slide up and go inside the eye. Because if you've worked with under eye patches, sometimes if they slide and go in the eye a little bit, the gel material of it can cause a little bit of rotation to the eye. And now we can use the surgical tape and the clear tape to hold down the bottom lashes just like you see in the video and for this one the tape kind of went bumpy so make sure you make it as smooth as possible so this is a good example of kind of not to make it bumpy because the smoother and nicer you tape down the bottom eyelashes the easier it's going to make your life this is the Yegi Premium Glue in 2mm, so it's kind of like a little sample size for people who don't do too many clients and they're just practicing. Because remember, anytime you open a glue, you're going to be using that only for 3 months. So it's at its best for 3 months maximum after being opened, okay? Shelf life is still about a year, but once you open it, it's only 3 months, so you want to make sure you grab the size of the glue based on what you're gonna use. We are using the Yegi Mega Volume eyelashes to create the volume handmade fans. Super easy to fan out from 11 through 15, D plus curl, 0.05. We are going to be using the Y3 and Y5 tweezers for this application and the Y5 is a curved tweezers and Y3 is a straight tweezers, okay? Normally we would isolate with curved tweezers but some people have been asking me, hey I prefer to isolate with straight tweezers, how would that work? So in this video we want to show you how that would work and how you can isolate with straight tweezers, however it is best to do with curved tweezers because of the natural curve curve of the eye you can see right now as we're isolating the tweezers kind of hitting the eyelid because it has a curve to it so if that tweezer was a curved tweezers instead of those straight tweezers then it would be way more comfortable and easier for us and for the client and especially for some eye shapes it would be impossible to isolate with straight tweezers comfortably you would have to raise your arm like really high and then get a hand cramp and we're not about that life We are using the Yegi Mega Volume brand eyelashes, but we're not gonna make them mega volume full. We're just gonna create a regular volume fullness with these mega volume lashes. So the mega volume is just a brand of the eyelashes, basically not necessarily the look. We can make it as full as, as we like with these eyelashes, but for these for this look, we're gonna create a nice medium volume look we don't want it to be crazy full 
So what does that mean? That means that each handmade fan that we're creating, we're not grabbing huge thick chunks from this strip we're grabbing smaller fans to be able to create more delicate handmade fans so like four or five in each fan or even three to three four or five in each little fan to get a nice softer volume look instead of doing like 10 in each fan to get that thicker mega volume look so that's pretty much what determines the name of the fullness of the volume now pay attention to the isolation make sure you do have only one natural eyelash between those tweezers because that is what's going to make your work clean and not have any lashes sticking together and you see how for that one we placed the fan kind of closed up you can use your tweezers to try to open the fan so it dries as open as possible but one thing you can learn from this video is look as you place it like that don't just let it go just like we did in that one section when you place it so here we go when we place it you want to hold it like that in place for it to dry for a second before you let go that volume fan Here is another close-up of the isolation and the fan, okay? So it stays pretty open even if you just drop it in there, but if you want it to be as wide of a fan as possible, you want to hold that fan in place with the curved tweezers that you're placing it on before you let it go. So once I see that, I will demonstrate, or I have another video after this one that would post maybe in a week or so that really demonstrates that way better, okay? This one I recorded a while ago, so didn't show that tip. But people have been asking how to, how can I keep the fans really wide with these very easy to fan out mega volume lashes. That is the way. Once you put it on the natural lash, you just hold it in place for a second or so. Let it dry a little before you let it go so the fan doesn't close back up. Because these mega volume eyelashes are designed in a way where it's super easy to fan out. So as you grab it, they kind of fan themselves out. But... But what does that mean? That when you let go, it can close up because the design is for them to stay together. So it's easy for you to fan them out. So the way we accommodate for that to have a really nice wide fan, we're going to definitely hold it in place. And like I said, stay tuned for next week's video. We show that in a little bit more detail. And we'll also link a video to this one of just of how to pick up these mega volume eyelashes to get a nice uh, wide fan because we had a lot of people asking us that. And right there you see when we did the isolation it is not a very clear isolation and even professional sometimes they might miss that just like you saw don't make that mistake if you want a nice perfect set you want to make sure every isolation is perfect just like that you only want one in between your tweezers you don't want the chance of anything else sticking together and by the way what you see on the left hand that is a glue ring that's holding the glue we're using the yegi premium glue for this set and we just put two or three drops but you do want to change that glue about every 15 to 20 minutes you don't want it to dry out okay so that one will dry fairly quickly because it is smaller amount into the glue ring Here we go, another nice isolation, only one between our left hand tweezers and we're going to go ahead and apply with our dominant hand which is the right hand in this case and apply right on top there. You see how the isolation kind of got let go? You can help with the right hand to make sure nothing gets stuck together just like that. And 
And the main reason why we're struggling to keep that isolation open is because we are using the straight tweezers in the left hand. So this is a good learning experience that curved tweezers are actually better to isolate and it's easier to hold it in place while you're trying to grab the eyelash to glue on instead of using these straight tweezers so that's why i wanted to share this video to teach you guys that as well because even small things like the tweezers you use can make a huge difference for eyelash extensions and the For the shape of the extensions, we are doing a very soft cat eye. What does that mean is it goes from shortest, which we selected 11 for this set, in the inner corners and it gradually gets longer to the outer corners, which we're going to go all the way up to the 15 millimeters. And that's going to give a nice gradual soft cat eye. So we're not skipping any sizes in between. We're using 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15, starting with the shortest in the inner corner and slowly increasing the length to the outer corners. Take a look of how we grab these eyelashes from the strip. You can't see too much in this video, but all you do is grab it, put it aside, literally pat it down and it gets wider. So you don't have to put so much effort into fanning it out and just you go ahead and use it as a fan. Again, we'll link, uh, we'll link below the video of exactly how to just grab these eyelashes and fan them very very easily so if you've never seen that video go check that out that should be kind of the initial video you watch or if you have no idea about eyelash extensions first go watch our video that says eyelash extensions 101 for classic and again we'll link that below again watch those two first before you watch this one then this one would be more efficient for shape and style compared to just you trying to figure everything out within this video now this one is actually a perfect fan you see it's nice and spread out the base looks nice and thin it doesn't look chunky and it is attached to only one natural eyelash clearly okay so that's your goal
And another tip I have for you guys, which I will try to do another video on, is actually gluing volume eyelashes underneath the client's natural eyelashes instead of on top. That really helps with retention. Okay, um, yeah. See now as we're selecting the fans and we're gluing it, we're holding it in place for a couple seconds before we let it go like that. So the fan stays nice and wide and open. Okay. Ta-da! We're almost done and here is what the final look looks like. Nice and fluffy. So we're going to dry it, make sure they're going to be nice and dry so nothing sticks together before we untaper. But look, look at that subtle cat eye. Shorter in the inner corners and slowly gets longer to the outer corners. Please subscribe and like and share. It helps me out a lot so I can do more videos. Thank you, thank you, thank you.